And welcome to the first bonus episode of All of the Street Fighters. I really wanted to do some bonus episodes to highlight uh, some games that feature Street Fighter characters or Street Fighter themes, but they're not strictly Street Fighter games. And we've got a better game to start with than 2017's Tekken 7. And if you haven't guessed why this is in an episode of All of the Street Fighters, um, then you didn't watch the intro closely enough. Uh, because Tekken 7 features Akuma from Street Fighter as a guest character. Now, the developers of Tekken 7, Namco, have uh, said that there's more guest characters to come, uh, and they've announced uh, Geese from King of Fighters, which is really, really exciting, and they've just announced Prince Noctis from Final Fantasy XV, which blew my mind, and I can't wait. But we're not here to talk about Final Fantasy XV, we're here to talk about Street Fighter games, and more specifically, Akuma, and how he plays in Tekken 7. So, how does he play? Um, it, it's incredible. He, he plays like he does in Street Fighter. The, 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 the key thing to take away from this is Namco haven't created an Akuma model in Tekken, and just kind of, you know, he's a skin and he, and he plays like a Tekken character. If you haven't played Tekken, it plays very, very different to Street Fighter. Uh, it's slow, it's got full 3D movement so you can move in and out of the screen. Uh, it doesn't really have projectiles, it's much more hand-to-hand -hand combat and grapples. What they've done with Akuma is they've, like, translated his character well, they haven't translated it really. He just plays like he's in Street Fighter. I mean, you'll see from this footage, he's, he's throwing his fireball, he's doing all of his special moves, and, and you execute special moves exactly the same as you would in Street Fighter, which is very unusual for Tekken. They're more about combos, and it's you know, it's punch, punch, kick, or it, it's it's diagonal down and kick, and, and you're just doing uh, like special punches and special kicks. And uh, with Akuma, you're doing your fireball motion and. You're doing your Dragon Punch exactly the same way. He's even got the super combo meter from Street Fighter. You'll see in the bottom left of the screen. Nobody else in Tekken's got that. Akuma's building it up like he is in Street Fighter, and he pops his super combo out when it's full. Um, it's, it's, it's really strange, but it works. It totally works. Now, what Akuma's inclusion in Tekken 7 says to me um, is that this is what we're missing when Namco cancelled, well, cancelled, maybe cancelled, maybe didn't cancel, uh, Tekken Cross Street Fighter, which were, they were supposedly developing. So Capcom and Namco made this joint announcement, um, I can't think when it was, but it, it, years ago, when, when we were playing on the 360 and the PS3, basically, that Capcom were making Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and Namco were going to make Tekken Cross Street Fighter. So in the same way that we've got X-Men vs. Street Fighter and, and Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, Capcom and Namco were going to create these two different games um, and, and Street Fighter Cross Tekken was going to be strictly a, a Street Fighter game with a load of Tekken guest characters that played like Street Fighter characters and Tekken Cross Street Fighter was going to be the opposite. It was going to be a Tekken game that included a load of Street Fighter characters. Street Fighter Cross Tekken came out um, people didn't really love it. It's uh, It played like Street Fighter 4. I mean, we'll get to that in the main series at some point. But basically, it had all the Tekken characters in it. It had Paul, it had Nina, it had King, it, it had everybody. And But but they, they kind of played like Tekken characters, but but it, it very much felt like a Street Fighter game. And they included all this rubbish with gemstones or whatever, and, and uh, everybody hated it. But, but anyway, it's by the by. Tekken Cross Street Fighter never came out. They released a couple of like screenshots of what Ryu looked like, but never any gameplay footage. We never saw how it played. There was rumours that it was cancelled, and then Namco would say, no, it's not cancelled, it's in development, and then somebody else would leak out, yeah, it's totally cancelled. It's generally considered that that project's dead. But Akuma appearing in Tekken 7, this kind of makes me wonder what we're missing. Because if if how Akuma plays and how he's integrated into Tekken 7 is how all the Street Fighter characters would be integrated into a, a Tekken Cross Street Fighter, goddamn, I want that game. I, oh, please, please make that game. 
I'm hoping this is just like testing the water for for how this would work. I just I, I'm trying to imagine all the other Street Fighter characters that I want to see and uh, like like fighting with the Tekken Seven guys, and I'm I'm so excited about it. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, it's probably never going to happen. So there's not a great deal more to talk about with this. I mean, Akuma is is one character out of tons. The Tekken Seven roster is absolutely massive. And although he's really interesting and it's 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 crazy, you know how they've how they've how they've brought him in and how they've changed the gameplay for him. He is just one character, and Tekken Seven is is about more than Akuma. Um, Akuma's inclusion in Tekken Seven does allow us to play with the, the stupid Tekken character customization, where you can dress up your your Tekken characters in in tons of ridiculous clothes with stupid hats and, and crazy face paint. And what it allows us to see is Akuma in a Bullet Club shirt fighting King, who is wearing full Rainmaker Akada gear with an IWGP title belt around his waist, which for me is kind of worth the the entry price. <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed our, our quick look at, at Akuma in Tekken 7, and I hope you appreciate why this is a bonus episode and not an actual full episode of all of the Street Fighters. I think it's I think it's interesting to see a character like Akuma in a game that he shouldn't be in, and there are other games uh, out there that I'm, I'm hoping to look at who's got guest characters, uh, one of which, to give you a sneak peek, would be uh, Rival Schools which features Sakura, and that's a, that's a Capcom fighter, but it's, it's not a Street Fighter game. But it's awesome, and we're definitely going to look at it. So thank you for joining me. I hope you're enjoying the series, and look forward to more bonus episodes in the future, as well as our weekly scheduled All of the Street Fighters episode every Thursday. Thanks very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>